Hello, big picture. It's Mrs. Tovar here. And I wanted to share one of my favorite um, stories about Groundhog's Day with you that I used to read to my students all the time. And it is called Go to Sleep, Groundhog. And it is by Judy Cox and illustrated by Paul Meisel. But it is about this little groundhog here. You can see him there. So it starts like this. Groundhog went to bed on Columbus Day, just like he always did. He brushed his teeth, and there he is, getting ready. He put on his jammies, and he set his alarm clock for February 2nd, and then he curled up in his warm, cozy bed. So there's his special alarm clock, and there's his bed. He closed his eyes, and he tossed and turned, but he couldn't get to sleep. Finally, he got out of bed. He peered at his clock. Half past October. Hmm. Groundhog poked his little nose outside his burrow. The moon was full. I'll just go for a little walk, he said. Maybe that will make me sleepy. So, there he is. And he's going to go for a walk. Hmm. So Groundhog went outside. He saw things that he'd never seen before. Raggedy scarecrows and grinning jack-o'-lanterns and children were dressed like pirates and cowboys and princesses. And... <laughs> oh! Halloween witch flew down what are you doing up? She said. It's almost winter. You should be in bed. So witch flew Groundhog home on her broomstick and she tucked him in and she read him a ghost story and she gave him a glass of apple cider. <laughs> Groundhog curled up in his warm, cozy bed and he closed his eyes and he tossed and he turned, but he couldn't get to sleep. So finally he got out of bed. He peered at his clock, half past November. He poked his nose outside his burrow. The leaves were red and yellow. Well, I'll just go for a little walk, he said. Maybe that will make me sleepy. And can you see his alarm clock instead of numbers? It's got months on it. <laughs> so he's going outside again. <laughs> I can turn the page. So Groundhog went outside. He saw things that he'd never seen before. Tall yellow corn stalks and round orange pumpkins turkeys gobbling in the barnyard. So what season is this? What are you doing up? said Turkey. It's almost winter. You should be in bed and I should be making myself scarce. Turkey took Groundhog home, and he tucked him in bed, and he read him a story about pilgrims. He gave him a slice of pumpkin pie. So he took him home, and then he's reading him a story, and he gets to eat pumpkin pie. <laughs> so Groundhog curled up in his nice, warm, cozy bed. He closed his eyes. He tossed, and he turned but he couldn't get to sleep. Finally, he got out of bed. He peered at his clock. Can you guess? It's half past December. Groundhog poked his nose outside his burrow. Stars twinkled overhead. I'll just go for a little walk, 
he said. Maybe that will make me sleepy. So there he is. And his clock says half past December. And he goes outside. What season is it? Groundhog went outside and he saw things he had never seen before. Colored lights are glowing on some houses. Candles are shining in windows. Holly wreaths are hanging on doors. And he heard sleigh bells chiming in the air. And there's part of it. Guess who? <laughs> Santa flew down in his sled. What are you doing up? Santa said, it's winter. You should be in bed. So Santa took Groundhog home in his sleigh and then he tucked him in and he read him a Christmas story and he gave him a glass of milk and a cookie. What a nice Santa, huh? <laughs> So Groundhog curled up in his warm, cozy bed, and he closed his eyes. He didn't toss. He didn't turn. And soon he fell asleep. Bring! Groundhog opened one eye. It can't be time to get up yet. He grumbled, I just got to sleep. <laughs> Normally he would have been asleep for months, but he did just fall asleep. And there's his alarm clock ringing. And can you see what month it's pointing to? February. That means it's time to get it off. Bring! He peered at his clock. February 2nd? Groundhog yawned and stretched. He tumbled out of his burrow and snow glittered on the ground. The sun was out and the sky was blue. He's like, time to get up. Groundhog saw his shadow. What am I doing up? He said. There are six more weeks of winter. I should be in bed. <laughs> so he hurried back inside. He ate a bedtime snack. He read himself a bedtime story. And then he tucked himself into his warm, cozy bed, and he pulled up the covers and closed his eyes, and he went to sleep. There's his story. And he's gonna go right to sleep. And that is the end of the book, but this book has something cool in it. And I used to look at this page because it gave us some facts about groundhogs that we didn't know. So I'm going to read it to you real fast because it's pretty cool. But it says about Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day is celebrated on February 2nd. According to tradition, on this day, the groundhog wakes from winter hibernation. He leaves his underground den and he peers in outside. If the day is sunny, then the groundhog sees his shadow and he becomes frightened. He scurries back into his burrow. And then we have six more weeks of winter. But if the weather is cloudy and the groundhog does not see his shadow, then he stays outside and spring begins. In the days before weather satellites and television and all this technology we have, it was hard for farmers to know when the harsh winter was over so they could plant their crops. So there were many superstitions involving um, predicting the weather by animal behavior. In Europe, Badgers and hedgehogs and bears are used to forecast the coming of spring. Um, when German settlers arrived in North America, they used the small furry groundhog, also known as a woodchuck, because it wakes up from hibernation in February and is easily observed in the eastern United States and Canada. Groundhogs are rodents that belong in the marmot family, and they live under in underground burrows, and they hibernate in them, from October to February. Their diet consists of tender green plants and they really cannot predict the weather. 
but that's what it tells us about groundhogs and groundhog day so i hope you guys enjoyed this story and uh happy groundhogs day